Hello internet people, my name is Robert and I'm your website guy and in this video I'll show you how to add an Instagram feed to your WordPress website. I'll show you how to do this for Elementor and WordPress Gothenburg but to be honest the steps are pretty much the same except at the end. Arnie, how did you feel after this video? I need a vacation. Tip sweat punch. So I'm here in my WordPress dashboard and let's navigate to plugins, add new and here just go to the search bar and start typing smash balloon and you need this smash balloon social photo feed just click on install and don't forget to activate it once it's done okay make it quick because my horse is getting tired and you can go here at the bottom of your menu bar you have instagram feed and settings and this is where you need to connect your account with this website it's pretty easy if you just click on this button and you select if it's personal or business. In my case, it's personal. And now you log in. And then it will ask you if you can uh, log in with this info. Just say yes, save info, and then give the access to this, uh, to this plugin. Continue. And here, just connect this account. Now you see here successfully connected and you see that you have uh, it expires in 59 days so you will just need to refresh it it's uh, no biggie though unlike the tragedy of ivan drago ivan drago now let's customize this a little bit in the second tab here you can select in the free version you can't select that many things uh, to be honest but what you can do is you can select how many photos you show so for example here i don't want to show 20 I'm just going to show let's say three by three so nine and columns i'm going to change to three and padding i think 10 will be fine just to showcase this you can also disable this on mobile i'm going to save the changes also, you can sort the photos. Really up to you how you want to change this. And I think the basic setup is actually quite good. I'm gonna not going to go into depth of this plugin. What, what we can do now is go to the tab, display your feed. And what you need to do is copy this code here. Oh no, sorry. You need to copy this code here. So it's gonna have uh, nine images and three columns so you can show more angles of you hey if you like this video so far i would appreciate if you can hit the like button that would help me a lot thanks so next i'll show you how to do this with uh, elementor and then with the gutenberg sure. so i've already prepared a page with elementor i'm gonna add it just here so in the search bar just type in short code and this is something uh, for, for Elementor to know or actually for WordPress to know what to use. So these short codes are like little pieces of code that uh, WordPress knows what to do with them. So in this case, by entering this, it knows that it needs to load the Instagram. And don't forget to update it. Now, nothing shows up here. And that's fine. If you go to home page and refresh the page, you see that you see some of the images you will see the videos in a bit it just haven't had time to download everything yet this is not something your user will see it's actually just for now i think it takes a bit of time for the plugin to set everything up so maybe in a minute you will see that this section is all good so if i refresh it again you can see that i see all of these things and what's cool is that you can load more and also follow on Instagram. So be prepared for stalkers like this. My name is Robert and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. And let's take a look how you can do this in Gothenburg editor. Pretty much same process. Just go to the pages, 
all pages and then either create a new page or if you have already a page then you can go i'm gonna edit this one just a sample page i clicked on edit and now here all you have to do is add a new block so i'm gonna add it from here and type short and you need this short code widget just click on it and it will show up here and i'm gonna paste the same short code that we, we copied a bit earlier now it won't show anything here but once you update it and then you go to the page and refresh it you'll see you have your instagram feed here and as an elementary you can just load more you'll see stuff here and you can also just by clicking on this button you can uh, go directly to instagram and follow the this account cool. since you have now instagram feed on your site make sure the website loads super fast in the video right here i'll show you how to speed up your website with just a few plugins and if you want to get more traffic on your site make sure your own page seo is on point I'll show you my favorite tips in the second video right here.